Today we are going to be learning how to set up ProBot for your Discord server and the basics to make your Discord server the best of the best. First thing you want to do before we start is create a Discord server, here's the one I made. If you already have a Discord server, let's get right into it. So first what you want to do is click the link in my description and it should take you to this website right here. Next you want to click add to Discord. After you click add to Discord it should take you to this page. Right here, click this button and choose a server you want to add ProBot to. In my case, I'll be choosing the tutorial server. Next, click continue, scroll down and click authorize. Confirm that you are a human and everything should be done. As you can see, I'm on the dashboard for the ProBot server of my tutorial server. So before we get into the module settings, make sure you have clicked the subscribe button and the like button. It for sure helps me out a lot. Alright, now that you've hopefully subscribed, let's get started. First thing you want to do is click on server settings and change the language to your server's language. In my case, I'm speaking English, so I'm going to keep it English. First thing you want to do is click on moderation. So essentially what moderation is, is a handful of commands for your server moderators or admins can use to make moderating the server way easier. So right here on the mod roles, you can select the roles that can use these commands to moderate your server. Let's go ahead and click tickets admin as this is a role we already have and then we click save changes. Next let's go on to auto mod. As you can tell by the name, it's an automatic moderation bot that the pro bot will do for you. You can turn this off if you don't want it, but who wouldn't want automation? So to make the most out of ProBot's auto mod, let's turn on every single option we can use. There we go. As you can see, repeated messages needs premium tier 2 ranks so I cannot click it at the moment. Down here we can select the ignored channels and ignored roles. What this is, is the channels and roles that can bypass these auto mods. So let's go ahead and put admin and let's put create a ticket and click save changes. Next thing, let's go to welcome and goodbye. Over here is an automatic welcome and goodbye message for users when they leave or join the server. So let's go ahead and click on send a message when a user joins the server. So as you can see, we can type any message we want to a user that joins our server. And down here, we can see the variables used for the message. And next to the variables, we can see where to send this welcome message. Let's put it sent to a channel and let's put it in general. Save changes and let's write a message. Let's type welcome user and there we go. Save changes and let's move on to a send a message when a user leaves the server. Down here is the same thing as this but when they leave the server. So let's go write goodbye user and send channel to general. And for send an image when a user joins the server, is this but with an image behind it. Now moving on to autoresponder, it is what it says it is. It's an automatic responder. So let's click add response. And here we'll type a message that will trigger the bot to automatically respond. Let's type hello probot. And we can go down here and change what the response of probot will be to this message. Let's write hello user and click save changes. Now let's go back to our discord server and test if this works. Let's go here and type hello probot and there we go. Probot replied with hello user and pinged me. Now going back to probot's dashboard, we'll move on to leveling system. So what this is, is basically a leveling system depending on how many messages a user has sent on your discord server. The more messages they have sent, the more XP they will get, which means the higher the rank they will be. So let's go ahead and click general for this. And congratulations user, you climbed from level old level to new level. Keep it up. Let's keep it the default message and click save changes. And down here are some basic commands to see your rank or the top player's ranks. So let's just go back to our discord server and type for a bit. Alright, so that's taking too long, so let's go ahead and type set level mango to 1. My level has been updated, now we can go ahead and type rank. And as you can see, we are level 1 in text, 
with a rank of number 1 and total of 36 XP. Going back to Probot, we'll move on to Auto Rolls. So what Auto Rolls is, it's an automatic role distributor to anyone who joins your server. So let's say I join a server, I'll automatically get a role that I have set on the dashboard. Alright, so I've selected member for my auto role, let's go ahead and click save changes. Now this will automatically give the member role to anyone who joins my server. So this is about it for the 2024 ProBot setup tutorial. If this video has helped you out in any way, please consider subscribing and turn on post notification to not miss out on any future bot setup tutorials. That's it from me and I'll see you guys next time.